Welcome to Audit Archive, where we run you through some of the most questionable and rather atrocious police encounters. Today, we're looking at a case where several police officers racially profiled a man by pulling him over for a license plate violation and then suddenly accusing him of being a drug dealer. In a video posted on June 28, 2023, a man named Matthew Wilson, a business owner, was driving down the highway to pick his wife up when he was suddenly pulled over by a police officer with the Broomfield Police Department. The officer approached Mr. Wilson's vehicle and initially informed him that his tags were expired, implying that it was the reason for the traffic stop. Mr. Wilson understood and happily complied by providing the officer with the required documents. But just as things were going as per the usual protocol, the officer returned to Mr. Wilson and immediately asked him to step out of his vehicle, claiming that he was in possession of narcotics. Mr. Wilson promptly refused to step out of his vehicle, claiming that he was being racially profiled. In response to this, the officer called for backup, and that's when several more units responded to the scene. This entire encounter was captured on Mr. Wilson's mobile phone, along with one of the officer's body cams. Okay. Uh, these officers are pulling me over they said it was a tag. Now they're saying that I have drugs. I have no drugs. I'm a business owner. I'm late to pick up my wife. Now they're trying to tell me that I have to step out. I haven't committed a crime. This is Matthew Wilson, uh, CEO of Addictive Culture Entertainment. I'm going to pick up my wife. I got pulled over, cited by these officers saying my tag. Now they're pulling me over talking about they want me to get out, no crime has been committed, and they have reasonable, articulable suspicion by constitutional law that I have to have drugs in my car and they are therefore allowed to do a search on my car. Now, I've told you that I have no drugs in the car. I've told you that I'm not getting out the car because I know the law, I haven't committed a crime. If you wanna violate my rights further, I promise you, you're gonna be famous. And I'll tell you right now, I don't normally do this, but we have some drug detectives that were following you. And wow. yeah, and they think where they follow where they follow me from. Tell me. Well, I don't have that information, but I travel this road every day. Okay. My wife is a doctor in Boulder. Mm -hmm. They want you out of the car and we want to do a sniff on the car with the drug. I'm, I'm not. You don't have call your supervisor. Okay, I'll get the. I'll get Are the, you going to violate my uh, violate my rights? I just told you to call your supervisor. I'm late picking up my wife, bro. And I can go, I can get information from other officers that tell me they have probable cause to do a sniff on your car. Because I'm a black man in a Beamer. I had no idea you were a black man until I stopped Because I'm you. a black man in a Beamer. Did not know with the tinted windows. I don't care about you, whoever your uh, supposed um, detectives are that follow me. Man, I travel this road daily, back and forth multiple times yeah. my wife works in boulder if you violate my rights i'm going to make a case against you and i'm going okay. to win okay you're profiling me because i'm black it has nothing to do with that you're profiling me because i'm black bro you just happen to be black and i just happen no, to be no you just happen to not be the first officer of white descent to call me a drug dealer because i'm in a beamer my family is rich okay. my family is rich i don't have to sell drugs we own construction companies, restaurants, entertainment businesses, houses, real estate, and all type of shit. I don't have to sell drugs, bro. A lot, a lot of people that sell drugs get rich, and then they have these other shell companies that uh, are you're, shell you're companies. You're profiling me. Are you going to violate okay. my rights? Well, we'll, we'll I asked you to by. call your supervisor. Okay, we're working on that. I've asked him to call his supervisor, everybody. You want to go back and say he wants my supervisor? Right off the bat, we can very easily tell that the officer speaking with Mr. Wilson had obvious disdain toward him. The officer claimed that Mr. Wilson was being followed by drug detectives, who then relayed some information to other officers, and hence the traffic stop. However, as mentioned earlier, the traffic stop was due to a mere license plate violation, and only when Mr. Wilson refused to have his rights violated did the officer make the drug story up. It's worth noting that traffic stops in Colorado do not require probable cause, but rather a reasonable suspicion. In order for a police officer to stop a vehicle, they must be able to demonstrate that the driver is engaged in some criminal activity. The threshold of reasonable suspicion is lower than probable cause. Judging by this, while assuming that Mr. Wilson's vehicle in fact had expired tags on it, we can say that the officer was justified in pulling him over. But that certainly doesn't mean that the officer can violate his rights by forcing him to step out and then search his vehicle. We'll discuss this in detail soon. A 
I've already told him I have no drugs in the car. Watch this. If you have no drugs, a, a dog sniffing it will be. Bro, you can bring your dog. Bro, you can bring your dog all you want. You're gonna look stupid as. I promise you. Okay. And I'm a suit. I don't have to sell drugs, bro. My family rich than a. I ain't gotta sell nothing. I'm set for life. You about to find out. Watch. Racist. Mother. Pull me over for a tag. They said it was a tag. Now they're saying I'm a drug dealer. Detectives were following me. Supervisor is on the way to talk to you, okay? But I do need you to exit the vehicle now. I haven't committed a crime and so, I'm not getting out the car. You're not okay. gonna violate my rights. I know the rights. I got a lawyer. We got sir. lots of lawyers. I appreciate that, sir. But by I didn't even have to give him my information and I cooperated. If I was a drug dealer, why not run? Okay. If I was a drug dealer, why did I give him my I know the law. I don't even have to give him my information well, you do. because exactly. I haven't committed a crime, okay. bro. You operate your vehicle with expired registration. That's not a crime, bro. Yes, yeah, yeah, That's civil it. court, bro. Okay, so yeah, listen to me, sir. Sir, we're asking you nicely. Legally speaking, we have the right. The Supreme Court has already decided we can ask you to get out of the vehicle. You choose to not get out of the vehicle is a criminal offense in itself. Uh, we don't want to go that area. Go that route. Watch this, y'all. Okay, so a supervisor is on the way, but you need to get out of that vehicle because if you don't, we're going to remove you from the vehicle and you'll be charged with a crime. You'll be violating my rights and I'm going to sue the out of you. And that's your choice as an American citizen. First and foremost, when Mr. Wilson claimed that the officers would be violating his rights, he was referring to the Fourth Amendment of the United States Constitution and the Colorado Constitution. According to Article 2, Section 7, it stated that the people shall be secure in their persons, papers, homes, and effects from unreasonable searches and seizures, and no warrant to search any place or seize any person or things shall issue without describing the place to be searched or the person or thing to be seized, as near as may be, nor without probable cause, supported by oath or affirmation, reduced to writing. Note that there are six exceptions to this clause. They are search incident to a lawful arrest, consent to the search, vehicle and container searches, inventory searches, exigent circumstances searches, and plain view searches. It's highlighted that one of these exceptions that falls into the category of vehicle and container searches occurs when a Colorado police officer conducts a brief investigatory stop of a motorist, which was the case here. It's also mentioned that if, during that investigatory roadside stop, the police officer develops an articulable and objectively reasonable belief that a vehicle occupant may be armed and dangerous, the officer may then conduct a protective sweep search of the vehicle's passenger compartment and the occupants of the vehicle for weapons. This is otherwise known as a Terry stop, which stems from the famous case law, Terry v. Ohio. Taking all these factors into account, it appears tyrannical for the officers to order Mr. Wilson out of his vehicle. But now, likely just because he knew that the officers were going to make things worse for him, Mr. Wilson agreed to step out. But you need to get out of that vehicle because if you don't, we're going to remove you from the vehicle and you'll be charged with a crime. And, you, and that's your choice as an American citizen. Huh? But we don't want to have to get that way. So if you get out of the vehicle, we don't have to use force. We don't have hey, to. Hey, look, I'm going to let him search, y'all. Watch this. I want our dog to ask him his hand so it's still like that. I want you to check everything in here. So do we throw it off? Yeah, I'm for you, too. So I don't want to do it. Let's go through the room. Have a good search. Watch this, y'all. It's nothing. It's nothing personal, man. It's, nothing it's cause I'm black and I'm in a Beamer, cuz. Nothing about race. Look at my family, Rich. You about to find out. Which way? It's nothing about that. Bro. It's, it's because of that right there. You see that? December 16th of 2022. So if it was a tag, you're citing that to me it's a tag. This individual told me that detectives. Drug detectives were following me, bro. That might be There's people out here doing 90 that and a 65. You chose to pull me over. You cited, I know the law, bro. I got lots of lawyers okay, and lots on. of money. You told me it was a tag, but now all of a sudden, 
drug detectives follow me from where? Where they? Where are they follow? From a drug house? They? Because I'm black, I must have came from the trap. It's nothing about race. I must came from the trap house. Huh? I promise you right now. I can promise you right now. It's nothing about race. It's nothing about that. I understand your frustration. Have you had any good experience with officers? What's your before? name and your badge number? My name is Officer Zamora. Here, I'll give you my card as well. My name is Officer Zamora with the Broomfield Police Department. My badge number is 5042. Here's my card. Thank you. Yes, sir. What's your name and your badge number? Officer Ehlers, badge number 5475. What's your name and your badge number? Jay Lingle, 574. Like you said, it's, it's not about Your dog didn't find nothing because I don't have drugs. I'm a business owner. Just do me a favor real quick. Just stay right here. I get your agitated and I get it. I'm going to shut up. I'm going to just shut up. All right. All right. That's fine. That's fine. Look at this, y'all. Five of them. Five cops. They all came for me. I'm a drug dealer. Like I said, it's nothing I have to disrespect. It's at this point, the officers initiated a canine sniff around the vehicle after asking Mr. Wilson to step out. It's generally understood that, while the standard of proof known as reasonable suspicion is necessary for the police to dog sniff your vehicle, the sniff itself is not considered a search. Furthermore, a drug sniffing dog who does alert to the presence of illegal drugs in a vehicle can be used to support a finding of probable cause to conduct a legal search of that vehicle. In other words, the officers were now hoping and praying for the canine to detect anything suspicious in the vehicle so they could legally search it. And even if the canine didn't signal anything, it wouldn't be surprising for the officers to still claim that to be the case and search the vehicle anyway. So my dog did indicate to the odor of narcotics in the vehicle, so we are going to search the vehicle, okay? Your, your dog, he, he, he smelled narcotics? He indicated Watch this. Hey, why, hey, look, hold on. I'm... Your dog getting hit on my car. I know the cop tricks because I got a brother that's a cop. The cop didn't hit it. Your dog didn't hit on and when you don't find nothing, just make sure you show up and say it in court. Trust me, I got you. I want to watch him search my vehicle. That's my right. That's my right. I can watch him. Search my vehicle. I'm right here. You might have to be right on his back. I'm right here. Please? Yeah, I'm right here. Go back there. So I'm right here. You gotta back. You gotta go back there. I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm not violating. I don't want to put my hands on you, but you need to go back here. I'm not violating. Nothing. Please follow me. I have the right to walk. You have the right to walk. Body camera on. If, if, not gonna be anything. Well, you stand right there. Let's please walk back. No farther. Go on there. Right where we were, because that's right now. You do have the right to watch. That's fine. Farther, please. Farther. I, like no, I said, I'm fine. I ain't doing nothing to you. I know you're fine. That's why I don't want to put I'm not doing nothing to them. I don't want to touch you with nothing. That's I'm why not I'm doing asking. nothing to them. That's they violate my please. rights. Please stand over here. They violate little, my rights. A little bit farther. All right? Thank you. Thank you. Like I said, you're more than welcome to watch. That's fine. But please, when I ask you, please, at least respect that. Respect what I'm asking you to stay over here. Please. I respect people that treat humans like humans. I'm trying. I'm trying That's to what I respect. I'm trying to show you respect right now, dude. That's all I'm trying to do. I don't even know your first name. But right now, I'm still trying to show you respect. I'm still trying to talk to you man to man. Give it a human. It's okay. I'm a drug dealer. That's my right. That's my right. I can watch him. Search my vehicle. I'm right here. You're not going to be right out of his back. I'm right here. I'm right here. So, I'm really not comfortable. You need to step back, please. I'm not going to lay no He's got a body camera on, I got a body camera on. There's not gonna be anything that's gonna happen. I will. Let me go on the other side.
baby. Bunch of this. As seen in the body cam footage, both officers were trying their best to locate the imaginary narcotics that Mr. Wilson was being accused of possessing. They almost treated it like a game, expecting to hit gold at any moment. But of course, Mr. Wilson was completely clean and had absolutely nothing illegal in his vehicle. Me personally, the reason I showed up is because I just pulled a traffic stop over there. It's nothing about because of anything like you're saying. But literally, I was just right there. Okay, I just want to clarify. I got drugs in the car, y'all. I got uh, pounds of cocaine and heroin. I've been trafficking all over the globe. Y'all couldn't pull me out, I know the law. So you threatened to charge me, that's something else I'm gonna bring up in the lawsuit. So I'll explain that statute and that means. So I know the statute, I got a good lawyer. That's not that case law, actually. So that case law says that in any traffic stop, any time, for any reason, an officer is going to ask a person to exit the vehicle. The law also them. says I don't have to get out the vehicle, that's my constitutional right. It, it no does, crime it was does, committed. It does. So no crime was committed. So it does though. So anytime an officer pulls somebody over, even if they think that it's for officer safety purposes and they prefer to pull a person out of the car, they can. They said I'm a drug dealer, y'all. Watch this. Can I talk to you please? Just out of respect. That's all they ask is respect. You'll have respect. You may not be the one, but you're a culprit to it. You may not be like this, but you're an active culprit not, to I'm, it. I'm at least trying. I'm at least trying to be one on one, man to man. Have a conversation with you. That's all I'm trying to do. I'm not disrespecting you. I don't know you, man. You don't know I'm me. I'm not disrespecting you. No, well, in a way, you're not letting me talk. I'm sorry, I want to just explain things. That's all. I just want to talk to man to man. You, you, you understand what I'm saying? Look, they done went front back. No drugs, guys. No drugs, guys. And if not, we're out of here. If not, then no big deal. Okay? I'm black and I'm in a beamer. That's why. We can't have nothing without being drug dealers. I worked my for years in construction before I built my own company. And I'm a soldier. You seem like a hard worker. <sighs> and he lied. He said his dog hit on my car. Life in America as a black man, y'all. I'm going to make him famous. This is an appropriate time to discuss the complications that come with such unlawful and tyrannical encounters. Remember that it is not uncommon for law enforcement officers to quite literally plant drugs in a vehicle while searching it. Matter of fact, there are countless past cases of this very act. Just two years ago, former Jackson County Deputy Zachary Wester received a 12-year prison sentence for planting drugs inside several drivers' cars during traffic stops and then arresting them. This was such a severe case that prosecutors ended up dropping charges in nearly 120 cases involving Wester that occurred between 2016 and 2018. 
So, just going off this example, Mr. Wilson's anger and resentment were very well justified. Regardless, after over 15 minutes of rather unlawful detainment, Mr. Wilson was allowed back inside his vehicle since the officers expectedly found nothing illegal inside. Sir, you're welcome to sit back in the pit if you want to wait out here. For the supervisor, you want to wait in the vehicle. I want you to give me my ticket so I can go to my appointment and pick up my wife. You don't want to talk to the supervisor? Already disrespect, you just lied. He just lied and said that his dog hit on my car. Did you find any drugs, sir? No, sir. I know you didn't, because I'm not no dick. Now give me my ticket. Okay, so I'm gonna take a seat back in the You are gonna give him a ticket? Well, me forever. I, I don't really plan on giving him a ticket. I didn't plan on it. I thought, well, the drunk guys know there's something in there. There's probably something in there, but... Yeah, it's up to you, it's your discretion. I'll yeah. go ask him to see if he still wants a supervisor, but... Yeah, go ask him. Yeah. It seems like you got on a good... We're getting there. Yeah, getting there, yeah. We're getting there, yeah, but yeah. Um, if he doesn't want one, you want to just send... Yeah, I, can, I can give him a business card with a warning. Yeah. If I got one, let me see. If not, we all gave him a business card. Oh, he did? You said somebody gave you intel that I was a drug dealer and drug detectives followed me? They, they gave me intel to stop a car, to, to identify you, and then also to sniff the car. Who is these individuals that told you this? They're I have a right to know. It's My not, lawyer's going to want to know too. Yeah, well, it'll be in a, a copy of our documentation. A copy of your documentation? Yes. You're documenting me when I was originally stopped for my tag. Yes. I mean, that was my reason for stopping it. But you're documenting me. Everything is documented. It's everything. Everything. It's everything is documented. Like this. So who are these people? Where they followed me from? You said they followed me. Where did I they have all me? that information? It was a really quick, brief conversation to catch up to your car and stop. It. We're only provided certain information. We're only provided when they call him and say, hey, this guy, we have information that may or may not have any sort of substance such as like drugs or anything like that may be in the vehicle. If, it, if there's a violation, such as your tag right there, if there's something, and I can stop. You can stop, and I can get your information. So, but you didn't. You originally said it was my tag, it is your but tag. then you said I was a drug dealer. So, under suspicion of having narcotics I, in because me. I was going to let you go on a warning with the tag, and then that's why I asked you if you had any narcotics. But why? Car? Because I was black. No. It has nothing to do because with that. Because black people always have drugs. No. Can it I, must be because black people always have drugs. I had no That's idea why, what your race was but until I got up to you, sir. Okay, but when you got up to me and seen that there was a black man behind the wheel of this the, the, brand new if, Beamer. If you don't mind, can, can we talk real quick, quick over here? I, I, I just I'm going to sue the ass. Watch this. City of Broomfield about to pay me. You're going to add some more to our family portfolio. Now, even though it's nearly impossible to verify whether the officers actually received intel on Mr. Wilson, there is a contradiction anyway since the officer first claimed that the reason for the traffic stop was because of the expired tag. And then, all of a sudden, they switched to claiming that a few drug detectives ordered them to pull Mr. Wilson over. We can quite easily assume that this was a complete lie and that Mr. Wilson was indeed racially profiled. Yes, okay. So, this whole thing... I'm just, I just wanted to ask you, do you still want a supervisor to come? I want to get to my appointment like I was originally scheduled. Yeah, that's what I'm asking, right? Okay. Do you, would you still like to speak with our supervisor? If not, the officer's willing to let you go with a warning and let you go to your appointment. If you'd like to, our supervisor's here. Let's I don't want to meet your supervisor. I want to get to my appointment. You don't want to meet him? I want to get to my appointment. That's just fine. Okay. So, like I said, this is nothing about race. This is nothing about any of that. We're given information. We saw your tags, pulled you over for probable cause of that. I just want to make that clear, okay? This is all just, this is nothing like that. I want to make that clear. So, my apologies to take up your time today. Do you have any other questions or anything for me right now? No, sir. Okay, again, my name's Officer Zamora. I appreciate you, man, that you have, you were up here when I first met you. You've come down here. I really appreciate that, okay? Because I didn't have no drugs in the car. I'm not a drug dealer. I see that, man, okay? So, I, you, I, I've seen the respect now. I hope you'll see my respect here. That's all I wanted. That's all I wanted to clarify. I'll let you get on, on your day, go to your appointment. 
if you have any questions, got my card, give me an email, whatever, okay? All right. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. You have a better day. Ultimately, Mr. Wilson was released from being unlawfully detained and given a verbal warning instead of being cited for the expired tag. There's no doubt that this encounter could have been escalated to something worse if Mr. Wilson had not stepped up for his constitutional rights and held the officers accountable. As of the date of this recording, Mr. Wilson has filed a civil lawsuit against the officers involved and further updates are still pending. Be sure to check out our previous video where we cover another outrageous police encounter.